Hey miss, hello, this is my last video that I'm making. I needed to make a video for this question just because I think I can explain it better without writing because that's a little bit, that's a small space for me to write in. So again, the question says in general, would resources be utilized most completely in a community with few species, but roughly equal numbers of individuals or in a community with lots of species, but strongly dominated by one, why? First, I think this question is confusing you can take the question in two ways either one you could take it as would resources be utilized most completely in the sense that they would be completely depleted and thus and uh, uh, that species is extinct or do you mean to write it as which resource would be motor most utilized completely to the point where every one species in the community is using the resources completely and they're completely making one whole community so that's the thing that i'm kind of stuck on um i will answer this question in two ways because i'm not sure in which way you're asking the question so don't dock my points and if you want give me extra points <laughs> that would help my grade but um Okay, so in the sense that the resources would be utilized most completely, that they are equally being used, it would be number one. The choice would be number one. In a community with a few species, but roughly equal numbers of individuals. Because in that community, they are set at equilibrium. Everyone is around the same average uh, species amount so no species would ever dominate the other they would keep each other in check so there would be a balance in that community therefore you know fungus will continue to help plants plants will continue to grow and eat and use water reservoirs however they want to get the water they'd use that water resource continually where uh, elk or deer would come and eat the grass reproduce make more deer to come eat the grass um, do you have more prey for predators like wolves that eat the deer that graze on the grass that grows from the dirt that takes the water from the river however you want to look at it it's equal it's equilibrium everybody's at equal so there's no predator that it's going to overeat and there's no prey that's going to overeat their producer it's just equilibrium that's, that's why it would be that one the community with few species because it would it would be at equal. Yeah, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I hope I got that right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it'd be the first one. But if you read the question in the sense that resources would be completely used to the point of depletion, give me a second. To the point of destruction of a species, extinction, however, it would be. Uh, Option B, or number two, a community with a lot of species, but strongly dominated by one. So for this one, I kind of thought of it as, if that's the way you want to look at the question, where they use the most resources that completely decimated a population or a species, it'd be that one because say, for example, the jungle has a lot of species. It's very, very, very diverse. Um, if a predator like a jaguar a black jaguar wanted to is more dominant and so there's more of that species that's very dominant over their prey eventually they would eat out their prey say hogs i don't know what lives in the jungle miss i'm sorry hogs and then they ran out of hogs so now they got to go to deer and they ran out of deer what lives in the jungle what is the jungle um I'm not a biologist, miss. That's for you to answer. I'm just saying other oh, prey. A deer, and then, you know, they eat monkeys in the jungle, right? I don't know. And then, so anyway, they're ju they'll just move on from one to one to one. And while they're taking out that specific subspecies, I mean, sub consumer under it, um, that consumer is no longer consuming what it was consuming, which is the primary consumers or if they were eating just plants and vegetables and stuff would be the producer since that secondary pr consumer is gone the primary consumer is also affected 
And then that primary consumer that was eating the primary, <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? It's like, you got what I'm trying to say. It's if that jaguar ate the deer to extinction and then that deer ate the flowers that it was eating to extinction and then those flowers are not getting pollinated by bees because the bees are not there to pollinate it and you know it just it eventually it knocks down the entire ecosystem it throws everything out of balance and that species will then the jaguar becomes extinct because it's eaten its prey there's nothing else for it to eat the prey's all gone they're dead they're not coming back and now they're starving to find food to eat and they're not going to be able to adapt and all that stuff so that's why i had to make this video man because that was question was a little little different i had a little trouble trying to figure out that question like what are you trying to ask but there you go and i want to thank you for everything you've done miss you've been awesome this whole pandemic thing is crazy, I know, but um, don't think I will pass your class, but I would love to take your class again because you are a cool teacher. And I want to pre I just appreciate everything that you've done, the way you've you know, set yourself up, your class online and all that stuff. Cool. Uh, you did it. Okay. Enjoy. Enjoy quarantine. Everything's opening up already. All right. Bye.